is the lineup for the final track event of the day. It's the Senior Boys Sprint Relay. Hereford and Worcestershire in one, London in two, Surrey in three, West Yorkshire in four, Middlesex in five, Greater Manchester in six, and the quartet from Avon are in lane seven. Well, London have had their trials and tribulations. They've won a couple of these relays. They've also had themselves disqualified. There is a lead-off athlete. The of the Sean McConaughey on lead-off. He'll pass the baton on to Kamal Thompson. Cameron Smith is on three. Ashley Campbell on four for London. That's Surrey. Joe Yard. No relation, by the way, to Marlon Yard. They went to uh, come from the same part of the world, Croydon. Marlon Yard, if you're a rugby fan, you recognise an outstanding young talent from London Irish. He was rather quick as well. And uh, I did pose the question when I saw the name at the beginning of the day whether Joe Yard, exactly the same spelling, Y A R D E, is any relation to Marlon. Well, apparently the pair know one another, but they aren't related. So we've had a faulty start. We'll go through uh, the ball again. Joe Yard of the Surrey team there in lane three. You can see, just been talking about him. He was running in the individual event a bit earlier on. There he is. I'll tell you what, he's built like a rugby player, isn't he? Those people that are so that's so with the, uh, the Croydon <laughs> Club and uh, Surrey with Lawrence Sakoy, himself a sub 11 second 100 meter runner who was wanted by all sorts of rugby clubs and ended up throwing the discus and he goes to the Olympic Games, the new national record holder at that event. So you can see Surrey flying around that bend, London are trying to cling on, one of the baton changes like that's good from Surrey. Also having a decent run there. Our greater Manchester is Danny Hill, who would have been disappointed with his run in the 200, but look at Surrey flying down the back straight. There's the third change when it was fumbled just a little bit, and they've lost a few metres there of Surrey. And Greater Manchester coming round the bend, also coming through between them and Middlesex. But it's Surrey who have the baton. And it's Tucker Bryan coming down the home straight, up against Roy Ejiokwekwu. Ejiokwekwu, can he get up on Surrey? He can! Goal to Greater Manchester, Surrey takes silver, and in the end, I think when we scrutinise it, Stuart, it will be that second baton change for Surrey, which cost them. But Roy Ejiokukwu came close to uh, picking up an individual title earlier in the day. Well, he's stolen the gold here. Great performance by the man from Greater Manchester, there he is. Yeah, at this particular point, you thought, well, sorry, I've got this. There's no question, Tucker Bryant, but look at the big fella coming through. Roy Ejikewu gets it by about half a metre in the end. It was a terrific uh, finish, it really was, but there were one or two ragged changeovers, that's for sure. I'm being told there was a red flag somewhere down the, on the circuit, but we're not sure yet. Third changeover, we're not sure who it's responsible, who is responsible for it. London uh, really struggled, didn't they? they? They weren't in this race, really, from the start and the, in terms of uh, winning. There's the red flag. It is yeah. the final exchange. Let's see if we can spot Stuart. Which is the guilty party? Well, whether they took the bat within the initial acceleration 10-metre zone or whether they were outside of the box eventually, it's very difficult to know. You may not be able to see the markings on the on the deck, actually, but uh, if they take it over in the acceleration zone, that's a disqualification. If they miss the box completely... Could, could, I think it, mm. Well, there was nothing conclusive on those pictures. One or two question marks, perhaps, about London for the second time in these relays, but it doesn't impact upon the teams who finished in one and two there. No doubt about the exchange there of Greater Manchester, Danny Hill, Nathan Selby, Zenon Wisniewski, and Roy Ejiokwekwu. 
they have brought the baton safely home and there will be one or two concerns I think until they hear what the news is about that baton change but certainly it was the third exchange between the third and fourth athletes and we're being told that London were the transgressors but they weren't alone it was also Hereford and Worcester First and second, we understand, have been disqualified. But no doubt about the winners, Greater Manchester have taken it. Surrey picked up silver.